Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Swampy Druid Game Reviews and more. It's on an interesting, uh, interesting thing this morning. Uh, Xbox and PlayStation not seeing eye to eye with the way the console market's headed. Um, PlayStation is, uh, right now PlayStation said that they're going to stick with the traditional console launches. Um, they said that there will be a, sorry, I'm still driving. There will be a PS5. They're not going to go ahead and do a PS4 Plus or a PS4 Pro Plus. Uh, the Pro is going to be their premium console for right now. And then uh, they're going to release a PS5 in the future. Uh, on the other hand, Xbox has uh, said that they're going to just release upgraded versions of their existing systems. So right now you have with Xbox, you have the original Xbox One, the Xbox One S, and the Xbox One X. So uh, when their new system comes out, or upgraded system I should say, uh, we'll just call it Xbox One Z, whatever, you know, whatever they decide to call it, um, you know, it'll be more powerful than the X, give you an, another additional option to uh, which consoles you want. Um, they've already said that they're going to support play on all their consoles so just because like I have an Xbox One you know the original model I'm not gonna have to worry that you know I'm not gonna be able to play their new games I'm gonna be able to play it it's like a PC you're gonna have basically highs you know if you got the newest Xbox like the X right now that's like a PC set at max settings I have the you know the the original model so you know that's going to be more of a lower lower setting and then you know the s is kind of in the middle there because it's just a, you know it's a little more powerful and uh you know that's just kind of the way you know it's going but uh with playstation just sticking with the original you know traditional console launches rather than this upgradable format um they're going to have to limit their library um you know when the ps5 comes out it will rely on, uh, you know, the launch titles, those 8, 10, 12 games, whatever it is that comes out for it. So, you know, everybody's going to be kind of limited because I'm sure they're not going to support backwards compatibility. They said they have no desire to do that. Um, they do encourage you to buy from their marketplace, rebuy the games you already own, but, um, you know, that's just, that's another issue altogether. But, you know, with Xbox with the, the way that they're doing their system, I'm going to be able to pop in my Halo 1 for the original Xbox and play it. Or, you know, any of my 360 titles. Or if I want to pop in, you know, the newest, you know, Horizon, uh, Forza Horizon 4, you know, just something, you know, I'm just using an example of a game that's not out yet, you know. Uh, be able to play those so uh, they're definitely on the right track with their gaming system um, just it seems very short-sighted of PlayStation to do this um, I'm actually not for sure why uh, but they said that they're they're happy with the traditional launches um, and um, it just yeah, I mean, it's working for them, so I'm not going to knock them. They have, uh, they definitely sold more PS4s than Xbox Ones, and they have more exclusives. So they're definitely going to, you know, that's going to help them in the long run as far as the exclusives and all that stuff go. But as far as that launch library with the way Xbox is doing, that may help Xbox out tremendously um, in the long run. They may actually win the console war because of... Because of their, you know, Play Now service, 100 games for 10 bucks a month. I get the newest Xbox, the Xbox One Z, whatever it's going to be called. You know, I'm just using it as an example. There's 100 games for 10 bucks, or I can pop in any of my other Xbox titles and play those. So, um, you know, in the long run, Xbox is doing some very, very smart moves. Um, I'm not going to knock Sony for st sticking to their traditional launches because Nintendo's done this and. You know, it's worked well for them. You know, PlayStation 3, um, some of the consoles were backwards compatible, but the majority were not. Um, and PlayStation 4 is not at all. So, you know, I'm not going to knock Sony for it, but um, I just thought it was interesting the way that both companies are thinking. And um, we'll just have to see. But anyway, guys, if you liked the video, 
hit that like. Um, if you have any thoughts about it, leave it in the comments below. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. This is Dustin, and I'm signing out.